Hey guys, Movie Junkie for Life here, and this is going to be my review of Kubo and the Two Strings. Not not Kobo, at Trinise, Kubo. <laughs> anyway, uh, the story here is about a young boy named Kubo who has to find this magical set of armor that once belonged to his father to protect himself against an evil entity that has been trying to locate him and destroy him. So we have here the voice talents of Charlie Throne, Matthew McConaughey, Rooney Mara, um, I'm missing somebody, Ralph, Ralph Fiennes, and Art Parkinson as Kubo. And um, this is brought to you by Studio Leica, the same people who did the wonderfully, wonderfully underrated. If you haven't seen it, you really need to see it. Paranorman, uh, Coraline, no, sorry, not Coraline, uh, The Box Trolls. And yeah, I think they did Coraline as well. You know, uh, Leica Studios has done wonderfully animated work. And here, uh, that director, Travis Knight, he's brought us his latest, Kubo and the Two Strings. It's done in a, a Japanese style, and the story is set in a fantasy version of Japan from way back when. And it tells the story of this little boy named Kubo. It's just him and his mom. And... Um, not trying to give anything away, somebody is hunting them down. And his mom has given him some rules that he needs to follow to keep safe. And unfortunately, of course, like children are want to do, he breaks one of those rules and the evil entity finds him. And something terrible happens and he has to set out on this journey to find this armor. What I loved about this movie, first of all, claymation to me, the work that goes into stop motion animation is just mind-blowing to me and to make it look as flawless as Leica Studios is able to do and just absorb you in and make you forget what you're seeing is stop-motion animation is just wonderful and Kubo and the Two Strings I think they knocked it out of the park from the moment I saw the trailer I knew I wanted to see this movie and I'm so happy it did not disappoint this story it's like a beautiful Japanese story. You know, you, you, if you're a fan of anime, you've heard these type of stories before. And um, I think most adults watching this movie will kind of figure out where the story is going. All the little twists will reveal themselves to you a little earlier than the kids in the audience. But it's no less impactful. And the voice work here is so well done, especially Charlie Thrown as Monkey and Matthew McConaughey as Beetle. They argue like an old married couple, and it's just so well done. The, the comedic timing they have is just perfect. And um, the CGI, when it's used, it's not heavy-handed. I think they may have just used a bit of CGI to enhance what is already there with the stop-motion animation. So any fan of that sort of thing. You now, we all grew up watching Ray Harryhausen, The Adventures of Sinbad, um, the Hercu uh, Trials of Hercules, and of course my absolute favorite, the original Clash of the Titans. You know, if you loved stop motion from then, you're gonna adore how far it's reached now. Um, the story, it's, it's not as uncomplicated as, let's say, Finding Dory. And it's even deeper than Zootopia. I think it has so many themes that I'm not sure how the under seven crowd would relate. I mean, mind you, there were kids in the cinema and they were laughing it up. But while I was leaving, I even heard uh, an, uh, um, a couple of adults speaking and one was asking the other two, do you think this is a movie for kids? And the reason for that is there are a lot of themes in this movie that I don't think kids would understand. There are themes of, of consequence and your actions and what can happen and themes of death and interpersonal relationships, um, immortality versus living the life that you have. There's so much to get from this movie and it's so wonderfully done. Um, the, the, the ending is very impactful and I don't know how well kids will take the ending of this movie. Even some of the adults seem to uh, struggle with what happened but I think if you're a fan of Asian cinema the ending will not surprise you it is heartfelt it is wonderful but it's a bit sad um, all in all though they did a fantastic job with Kubo and the two strings it's funny there's a lot of action sequences here 
but it's always done in a way that it doesn't feel like we're bogged down in all style and no substance there is a lot of substance here between the relationships we uh the relationships between kubo monkey and beetle and kubo and his mom and even kubo and the people of the village you know you feel when things happen in this you feel it deeply like i guess like when you first saw the lion king you will feel it because they allow for time for you to build relationships with these characters and everything that happens to them impacts you like i said the visuals are wonderful the voice acting is good and um honestly i really don't have much negative things to say about this movie there are a few rough patches here and there with the stop motion uh the stop motion animation but it's nothing that's gonna pull you out of this and um what else is there maybe a bit of a the it, it gets a little formulaic in the middle to end act because you know it's a story for kids at the end of the day so it's gonna have those types of one two three moments you know where they go they're having an adventure they meet a quest they have to fulfill that quest then they go to the next quest that is always parts of this type of film but overall kubo and the two strings is absolutely wonderful and Laika should be so proud about the work they're putting out i hope more and more people go to see this movie and they don't overlook it i know the title seems weird to people you know but trust me this is a beautiful movie and if you love this sort of thing you're not going to be disappointed i give kubo and the two strings an eight out of ten okay guys till next time bye bye